Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought it would be fun to pack and I guess share what I'm packing in a little like to-go bag that I keep in my car or I will be keeping in my car. So I thought this was fun because I'm like, I really need to start carrying around like makeup in my car that I can just like touch up my makeup or if I like didn't have time to put my makeup on and I have a second to like sit in the car, some things are there for me already. Basically my like first aid kit of makeup that I'll be keeping in my car. So I wanted to share with you guys like what I'm gonna be putting in here and I'm gonna put it in my car cause I'm getting a new car here in the next couple of weeks and I want it to be like taken care of this time. Like I need to be good. So that's what this is. Before we get started, please give this video a thumbs up for me and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Anything makeup related, anything self tanner related, if you like that stuff, please make sure you subscribe. But if you want to see what's in this little bag, stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right guys, as usual, you know the drill. If you hear any crazy sounds, my cats are right next to me being crazy, but I can't kick them out because I love them so much, so I just deal with it. But back to why you're here so this is my little travel bag that i'm going to be keeping in my car i haven't done this before and i feel like i'm so bad especially like on work days when i'm like in in a hurry to get out of the house a lot of times i won't put makeup on because i'm just trying to get out and then i'll be like sitting in the car and i have a second and i look in the mirror and i'm like Oh, I wish I had at least like concealer to spot conceal or like a mascara, brows, something to bring me back to life. So that's what this is going to be. Like just like my SOS first aid kit that I'm going to have in my car with just products that I really think I'm going to get a lot of use out of or especially if like I just need a quick something when I'm in the car. So that's what this is. The bag itself, I don't know like where you could buy this because I think I got like a little YSL perfume kit or something during the holiday sale. I want to say last year or the year before that. And that's where I got this little pouch from. So I don't know if or where you could get like this same little thing. But mine was part of like a little kit. So I'm sorry about that. But this was just like the perfect size that I could fit in like the little like center console of a car. So I grabbed this, opening it up. I'm not going in any kind of order. I'm just grabbing whatever I see and yeah. So first thing I see, you already know I had to include one of these. A lot of these are mini sizes by the way because it just made more sense for like an on the go kind of product. So this is a baby version of the Benefit Roller Lash, my all-time favorite mascara. I just, I feel like I need one of these everywhere I go, in every pocket, in every purse. Like, this is just the best mascara ever. So I wanted to get, like, a little mini size so I could have that ready when I need to use it in the car. Next up, brow product. I feel like this is less messy than a, like, powder, like, dip product that I would use. So I love, love, love this um, eyebrow product. It's the Rare Beauty Brow Harmony Precision Pencil in Deep Brown. This stuff is just so beautiful every time I put it on my brows. It's so easy to use too. You get a spoolie and you get the product on one end. You just brush the hair strokes in, brush out the front with the spoolie and you are good to go. It's super quick and it's super beautiful every time. So I had to include that. Next is a brush. I feel like I wanted to include this because it's very versatile and I can use it for a lot of different things. Like this side I could definitely use for like a setting powder or something or like a blush bronzer kind of thing. And then this I could use for like more liquidy products cause it's a little bit more dense. So it's just like a very versatile brush in case I really, really need one. And then I have a little powder puff too. So this I love for like powder products, especially like a setting powder. This would be really, really good for. So I ooh, had to include one of these. Next, 
just a lip product that is like foolproof that I know is gonna look good and just feel good and feel natural and that is the Summer Fridays. I've been obsessed with this one. It's the Lip Butter Balm in Cherry so it gives your lips this just really beautiful subtle like pinky red tint to them and I feel like it always elevates my makeup looks and it's such just like a good everyday product so I had to throw this in here. And then another brush that I included was this Patrick Ta. Both of these are Patrick Ta. This is the for contour three. So I could just use this for other like smaller powder products. Like if I want to use this end to like do a little something to my eyes really quick too. And even for highlighter. And then this side I would use to contour really quick because got to contour my nose. And then next is a setting spray. I feel like setting spray is one that's very easily forgotten. Even if I like have put my makeup on at home and I'm leaving the house, if I forgot my setting spray before I left, it's in the car. I'm good. So I wanted to include this and then of course if I need to be putting some stuff on in the car, I just spritz this at the end and I'm good to go. So this is the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Spray really really good spray and it's so cute like look at this little mini size so I love that and then next up baby concealer this is one of my all-time favorites it's the NARS radiant creamy concealer I have the shade medium one which is custard it's my perfect shade I've used this concealer for years and years and years and I just know this one's never gonna fail me so I included the little mini size to put just in the car to have. I know it's great for spot concealing. I know it's great for like under eye bags and things like that. So this one just won't let me down and a little goes a long way with this stuff. So I know the mini size is going to last me. So love that. Next up, I included just like a little like lip pencil. If I don't want any other products, if I just want to like color my lips in and line them, this is a very good one and it's a mini size so it fits perfectly in here. It's the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. I got this in a little set. It's like a little holiday set. So it came with like two or three lip pencils and then two eye pencils. So it's super, super good. This is in the shade Wherever Walnut 606. So it's just like a nude little pencil just in case you want something very nude and natural on your lips. There it is on the go. Obviously, this is not in any particular order, by the way, but while I'm on the subject of those Makeup Forever minis, I have two more. These are eye ones, so if I want to do eyeliner, which probably not as likely that I will be wanting like a black eyeliner in the car, but if I do, I just have this little mini. It's also the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. This is just whatever black, so I have just a pencil liner. This one I do see myself using a little bit more frequently. It's the white. So it's a all-around white shade 104, the mini. This I would just line like my lower la um, lash line with, or my waterline, sorry, I could not get that word out. My waterline, my lower one, with this just to open my eyes up a little bit, give me a little more of an awake look. So... I have both of those just in case I want to play around with my eyes a little bit. And then back to brows, I have my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. So I love this stuff. It's really, really good and it keeps my brows in place. They do not move when I have this on. It's just a really, really good brow gel and you have like two sides to it depending on your preference. So just a little mini, whoa! brow gel in case I need to touch some things up. So love this stuff. Love that it came in a little mini and I just know that this is not going to let me down. So yes. Next up, this is a full size but it's just a blush that I know is very good and I could even use my fingers to blend with. So it's just very quick and easy to use. This is the NARS um, the multiple in the shade orgasm. This is just like the limited edition packaging color. I think the original or like the regular one is the black on white. So it just looks like this. It's like almost a two in one. It's like a blush and a highlighter. Usually I just like swipe and then I take my fingers and I just blend it in and it looks absolutely perfect. It's just very quick and very easy and I feel like the NARS blushes you just can't go wrong with because they always do a good job 
and NARS Orgasm looks good on literally everyone. So even if I have somebody in the car that needs a little makeup touch up or they need a little extra something, I got you. So next, a skin tint just in case like if i am really really in a hurry and i had absolutely no time to put a dot of anything on my face i am covered this is the hourglass veil hydrating skin tint this is really good it's like more of a lighter coverage so i wouldn't do just like a full face of like a heavier foundation obviously but for on the go i feel like this would be a very very convenient product to have and i could just use like the dense side of this to apply all over my face or i could even just squeeze it into my hands and like with my fingers blend it in obviously i'll have some wet wipes in case that is the case but sorry my cat's going crazy uh, but yeah this i just really like as a skin tint altogether. i have the shade 10 I really love it. It's like very flexible and very travel friendly, which is why I wanted to include something like this because it's not glass. I don't really have to worry about it as much. So I really love this one. And then we're almost there, you guys. I have this like tiny little baby version of NARS Laguna, which is one of my all time favorite bronzers. Look at how tiny and cute this is. And I just feel like it's so convenient. Like, again, I could just take this side or this side, really, dip it in and just give myself a little bronzed up look. It takes up, like, no space, basically, in my little bag. But I feel like a little goes a long way with NARS Laguna. So you don't need a ton of product to get what you need out of this. And then a powder, a setting powder. This one I typically will use just under my eyes, but it's still good for all over the face, I feel like. This is the Givenchy Prisme Libre, uh, what is this? Matte Finish and Enhanced Radiance Loose Powder in the shade 3 Viol Rose. It's like a little hint of pinkiness to it. It does such a good job of setting your makeup. Like my skin looks flawless when I put this on. So I'm just obsessed with this in every way. And look at this, this is the mini. It's so, so cute. Another product where a little goes a long way so you don't need a ton of this to get the job done, but this mini was so cute, fits perfectly in this little bag, and it's just super convenient for like on the go. And then last but not least is a perfume to go. Like chances are you probably have a little to go perfume in whatever purse you're bringing, but if you don't, this is a great choice to keep just in the car, ready to go. It's a travel size, so it's very convenient. Again, takes up basically no space. This is the Valentino Donna Born in Roma perfume. This stuff smells so good. I always get compliments when I wear this. Like it is just the best perfume ever. And the packaging is adorable. It has this like rubbery plasticky cover on it so the glass won't break like it's just very very convenient and then you pull the top off and it's like a little spray i'm obsessed with travel sized perfumes these days so this one's a recommendation if you're looking for one that comes in like a nice travel size but that is it you guys like i i feel like this is a really good selection of products it's probably more than i need to be honest too but i am a paranoid person and i always overpack things so i feel like it probably is too much that i'm doing but i feel like i'm definitely going to use all of these products at least once I can pretty much guarantee you that. So these are just all things that I will be keeping in my car, just like in the little center console. But that is it for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I thought this was a super fun one because I was doing it for myself. And then I was like, wait, let's do this together. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. But comment and let me know what you guys think about my uh, selections. Let me know if there's any products that you like to keep that you use all the time on the go. Let me know what other videos you guys want. Give this a huge thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel, but stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.